it's, it's definitely a different feel to to what I'm used to. Uh, golf being quite an individual sport, to actually be thinking about part of management of any kind is it's somewhat unusual for me. Uh, but the process was uh, a little bit harder than we would have liked to to acquire all the players. Obviously, Kieran being one of the qualifiers, uh, I was up watching the back nine and saw his performance, and I was quite impressed. Um, too bad for him that he had hit five with on a par five of the tee. So it probably would have been a lot easier in that playoff. Uh, Caleb, Caleb is, uh, well, obviously, for people that follow amateur golf, a very accomplished amateur golfer. Um, we played a practice round together last year, actually, on Wednesday of the American Express. Uh, so I knew of him enough to to know how good it was and, and what he was capable of. And then that year, he went on to win SEC championships, uh, one of the top ranked amateurs in the world, Walker Cup player, performed great in the Walker Cup. So his, his amateur resume speaks for his own. And he seemed ready to to turn pro. So when he uh, when he approached us with it, I'm not going to shy away from somebody who's ready to, be, to make that transition. And um, I'm very happy to have him on the team. And then Terrell, Terrell is somebody I respect a lot. He's a really good friend of mine. Uh, we've shared the stage in some of the biggest events in the world and more recently in the Ryder Cup. Uh, you know, proud to say we're undefeated together. So it's it's somebody that has always been very high on my list. I think he's somebody who can perform under any circumstances. And, you know, so I think the two of us understand each other very well for some various obvious reasons we're probably not going to get into. But, um you know, I see a lot of myself in him as well, so that's probably why I feel feel such a good connection with him on the team. So I'm I'm happy he he accepted the offer and is now a part of it. I think a good captain can adapt to each player, right? I don't think there's one single formula to that will work for everybody, right? Because uh, I know what might work to get the best out of me it might not work for Kieran or Terrell or, or Caleb, right? So I'm gonna have to get to know everybody a little bit better to be able to know what what buttons to push definitely at what times uh i'm pretty confident i know how to do that with Terrell already we've spent a lot of time together so uh i already know but with with caleb and kieran i'm gonna have to learn a little bit on on, on how they are in general how to, to how to manage that so to answer that no i don't really know exactly what i'm gonna be doing but uh again like i said earlier i'm really looking forward to learn the weeks leading up to to the announcement weren't the easiest right uh I have to weigh a lot you know basically a, get enough info to then make an informed decision, right? Uh, and even uh, through the process of negotiations, it just, that was very, very, very deep waters compared to what I'm used to, right? I had to be more involved than I thought I was gonna have to be. But once the announcement was made, I think everything became a lot easier, right? Uh, having to keep the secrecy and not being able to talk to anybody about it was difficult. So again, once it became public, uh, the reaction was pretty much what I expected. Uh, the ones that are close friends that maybe had an idea or not has supported me. And there's obviously some people are going to disagree with any decision we make in life. So uh, pretty much in line with what I expected, but it was nice to have some time after that before my first competition round in Live Golf to, to process and then actually kind of refocus and get to work. I haven't spoken to him a lot recently, but, you know, he might, he might have had a, a change in, in thought process as in uh, maybe with some of the things he said in the past, right? I think he might be seeing that the landscape of golf is changing and at some point you, you need to evolve. Right. So I think he, uh, he might be seeing that and, you know, again, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but it's nice to see, to have the support from a player in the caliber of Rory, right? Uh, especially those Ryder Cup remarks he made early on. I think that that's an important statement for, for change to be said.